My dear people, as we embark on the holy season of Great Lent, I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every year, I look forward to Great Lent because I see it as an annual gift given to us by the saints of our Armenian Church. Inspired by Jesus' own 40-day season of prayer and fasting, Great Lent provides us the opportunity to step back from our routine and from the manic busyness that consumes us and subtly but surely draws us away from God. Great Lent ushers in a subdued spirit, the closed curtain, fasting, and special ceremonies. It can be a time for us to reconnect, to sync ourselves with Jesus Christ, who is the true source of life. I recently came across this tattered old prayer book published in 1856 in Constantinople. Inside, I found a beautiful meditation entitled Hortorag Abasharutyan, which means a call to repentance, or simply a change of heart. For more than 50 pages, the anonymous author, probably a medieval Armenian monk, tries to convey how very deeply God loves each one of us. I'd like to read a few lines from this meditation where Jesus actually speaks to us. Why do you run away from me, your caring God, when the angels who continuously see me do not tire of my kindness? What have I done that would cause you to leave me? That is exactly why I search for you, because you have gone astray. I want to find you because you are lost. I want to relieve your pain because you are wounded. I want to heal you because you've been beaten up. I want to rescue you because you're drowning. I want to hold you tightly because you've been battered by the storm. I want to lead you to the harbor because you've been pounded by turbulent waves. My dear ones, our Lord longs for us. He loves us to death. He wants us to know his love, to feel it in our bones, to be strengthened and healed by it. The Lord desperately wants to flood us with God's divine sanctifying power so that empowered by him, we may be agents of that same divine healing love for all those who are hurting around us. So Great Lent is a time for healing. These holy 40 days invite us to recognize our own frailty, be it guilt, loneliness, anxiety, cancer, addiction, debt, or betrayal. Great Lent invites us with brutal honesty to recognize the afflictions in our world, our nation, and even our diocese and church. This holy season is an appeal to each one of us for a change of heart. I'm calling on each of you during the next 40 days to devote yourselves to fasting and prayer in the ancient tradition of our Holy Church. Fasting simplifies our lives and sharpens our perspective as we lay aside excesses and distractions so that we may focus on what is essential. And we do that through prayer, which is our ultimate response to a God who is always reaching out to us to draw us into his life and love. May this Great Lent be a season of change and healing for you, your loved ones, our church communities, and the world. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.